channel, my name is Lynn and today I'm going to show you how to make quick and delicious Portuguese egg tarts. I know this might look really intimidating to make, but I promise you it's super simple. And I'm going to show you a little secret of how I like to make them really quickly. For the custard filling, you're going to need one dried cinnamon stick, two tablespoons of sugar, two thirds cup of whole milk, three fourths cup of heavy cream, an egg and two yolks, and two tablespoons of condensed milk. All exact measurements will also be listed in the description. To a pot on low to medium low heat, add your milk, heavy cream, sugar, and condensed milk. Mix everything together really quickly, then add your dried cinnamon stick. Let this mixture cook until it reaches a slight boil. It should take about five to 10 minutes. Make sure you stir the pot constantly. Once it reaches a boil, turn off the heat and let it sit and cool for a few minutes, then remove the cinnamon stick. Now in a separate bowl, add in your egg and egg yolks. Right now, we are going to temper the eggs. Tempering means bringing the eggs up to temperature by adding the milk mixture a few tablespoons at a time and whisking so the hot milk will not scramble the eggs. Once it is all mixed in, pour the mixture into the sieve. You want to make sure there are no lumps. Now set it aside and let's talk about the egg tarts. For the dough, this is my secret. You're going to use frozen tart shells. I got mine from 99 Ranch, so I recommend checking there or any other Asian grocery store. This is a lifesaver and this is what makes the recipe super easy. Keep these in the freezer until you're ready to fill. Now line some foil to a baking sheet and spread out 12 frozen tart shells. Pour the egg mixture about 80% or 3 fourths of the way up. Once you are done filling, place this tray in the middle top rack of a 400 degrees preheated oven for about 23 minutes, then broil your tarts for 1-3 to three minutes until the top layer reaches a golden char. Then let it cool for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, then you are done. And now we have little Portuguese egg tarts. These look so good. It definitely reminds me of the ones that I get from 85 degrees. However, I don't have an 85 near me and sometimes I crave Portuguese egg tarts because I know these cost like two something, like over $2 just for one. However, you can make 12 in a recipe that I'm showing you. They're kind of addictive. I already ate three of them. This is about to be my fourth one. <laughs> Let's taste it. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but the dough is so crispy and flaky. I like cannot believe I got this from the grocery store. And the best part is you don't have to fuss of making the dough because I know it makes a mess. You're not sure if you're doing it right. And honestly, I don't have time for that. <laughs> but it's so easy to make at home. It's so good. Can you see it? Look at that. Look at that. You can definitely see the flaky crust and the custardy center. Also, the custard filling is really like firm and bouncy. You can definitely taste the cinnamon stick. You don't have to add it in if you can't find it or you don't have it, but I do recommend it because it does give a really great flavor profile to the dessert. And another quick tip, if you can't find the little tart shells, you can definitely use puff pastry. All you have to do is defrost it, cut into like little squares to fit the little molds or muffin tins. I heard that method works really well. Sorry, yeah, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I like can't talk right now because it's so good. I already made a, like a batch and it's all gone. And I made another batch, it's almost all gone too. So this is definitely a crowd pleaser. I know when I go to bakeries, I don't want to order a lot of Portuguese egg tarts because it does add up. So making like, a batch of 12 for like under five, six dollars is like really a good deal for me. <laughs> so most of these ingredients you already have at home. So it's super easy, super simple, no fuss. I hope you guys try it. If you have any other recipe suggestions that you want me to make, just leave it down in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Just let me show you everywhere I've been.